you need to have a good quality dough, good quality salt, and good quality cheese. And that is not a choice. You have three ingredients and you can mess up with that. And that makes the explosion of the Amphora pizza in this moment. I started to make pizza when I was still the age. I never cooked before. I was a, a farmer, make cheese for an American company, and I decided the job was not satisfying me anymore. And uh, I love a pizza. First pizza was uh, eaten home when my mama was making pizza when she was baking the bread. Then Naples. Food was done the same way for over 20 years. And that for me was really unique. And the atmosphere and the culture, the you know, pizza in Italy was really social food. So everybody can like pizza, everybody sit down around the pizza table. So I decided to go learn to make pizza in Naples. And uh, when I went there, I fell in love immediately with the product, like the story, the history, of the culture is all behind what represents the pizza. And that is my new life. Food is a memory. It brings back you, it makes you a happy person. When I was kids, my mom was making uh, the fried Montanara pizza. She was uh, frying uh, oil in the pan, and then we eat it 10 at a time. The Montanara is the one we uh, fry the dough. People, they are scared of fry. And one part is very important, how we fry, and what oil we use for fry. The Montanara is around for century, okay? But it was just a deep fry, and you put the tomato salt and some pecorino romano. Put the, this tomato cook for a long time, and the ingredient, a finch inside the oven. You evaporate the oil, extra oil, and the cheese melt on top. Buffalo smoke mozzarella. They have this kind of smoky, uh, different texture. They have a two different ways to cook a fry in the oven. And that is, I think, it's a really unique flavor we give it. In fact, when we opened this pizzeria, Don Antonio, the Margarita Montanara was the best sales all the time. And that never happened in the restaurant in the pizzeria business. Because Margarita would be beat for somebody else. Uh, the wheat in, in Italy is different than in America, so that is really important. The dough. It's a very simple uh, process. It's water, flour, yeast, and salt. But it's alive. The most important part at the point you come the pizza maker. How you stretch the dough, how you touch the dough. In the pizza, all you need to know when you touch the dough, that is different than one hour ago, I need to touch in a different way. The dough is very soft and very delicate, so you need to touch the dough really very, very gentle. It's hard for me with these big hands, farmer hands. You need to learn, it's mental stuff, you need to learn to control your hands in some way. The hard part, use it the head on your hands. So the connection, it's very important. Nippo is very famous for the fried product. For the pizza, what we're doing, they have two different ways they make it. It's the Montanara is one, and the, the pizza fritta. The pizza fritta, very typical. Uh, basically, we put the ricotta and salami, we close it, and we deep fry inside the oil. 20 years ago, outside Naples, there is already different pizza. I find this new pizza I can never eat before, the pizza fritta. Wow, that is something unique and incredible. In Naples, uh, you eat three times, four times a week of the pizza, possible five times for the young generation. Here, too, everybody likes pizza. It can be the president of the United States, or it can be the normal person on the street, and the poor person. Everybody afford and they want to like pizza. At pizzeria um, is a community table. Everybody sit down at the same table. You find uh, the engineer, the architect, uh, doctor, people in life, tourists. Everybody sit down at the same table. When they start talking, share the pizza. That's why pizza put people together.